So this is uh, four and five from pre-quiz 18. Okay, so an 85 ohm heating element works at 120 volts. Um, and then it's gonna take 2.4 kilograms of water from 12 to 85 degrees Celsius, right? And then we know the specific heat And this is joules per kilogram degrees Celsius. Why well, ask? So the first thing I'm gonna do, and I don't know why it's the first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna figure out the power. The power is gonna be V squared divided by R, so that's 120 squared divided by 85, which is gonna be a lot. So 120 squared divided by 85 is 169.41 watts, which is a joule per second, right? That's how many joules it's going to pump into the system every second, okay? And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out the heat that needed to raise this from 12 to 25, and that's going to be MCAT, right? So that's 2.4 times 4186 times um, 85 minus 12. Right? So I'm going to store that in A, and then I'm going to go 2.4, be quiet, times 4186, times 85 minus 12. And that's a lot. That's a lot of, uh, of joules needed. That's 733,387.2 joules needed, right? So if I give you that many joules per second, and you need that many joules, how many seconds will it take? I'm hoping that we could do this without a formula because we don't have a formula. If you need this many joules, and you, what is the number of joules per second you're getting, right? What is the number of joules per second you're getting? Right? Yeah, divide, isn't it divided by? Right, it's how many of these, right? So the formula I'm using is power is work divided by time. And so 169.41 equals 733, right? So I'm going to divide this by my answer, and I get 43 Ta -da. Is that what you got? How about number five? Talk about number five. Yes, please. All right. The rest of them are pretty basic. It's four and five that make people go and sit back down. Okay, so five says, can we be quiet? Five does not say, can we be quiet? Okay, a 1200 watt heater uh, runs an alternating current with a peak voltage of 134 volts, right? What is the resistance, right? And so what we want to do is, is we're going to pick a power formula, right? The power formula that relates voltage and resistance is that power is V squared over R, okay? But we can't use, we can't use the peak voltage. We have to use RMS, right? Okay, and so what we've got to do is we've got to de-peakify the peak voltage. Right, so the, the, the voltage RMS, right, is 134 divided by the square root of 2. So 134 divided by the square root of 2 is 94.752. Right, I'm going to store that in A just for fun. Okay, and then are we talking about, are we helping each other? I don't, I don't know if they'd be angry or... Okay, so, um, so in this case, R is going to be, what is it? It's R is going to be V squared over power, right? So I'm going to take this guy, square it, and divide by 1200. Is the answer 7.48? It's actually 7.48166666666 ohms. It really is.
RMS. Where did I get this formula from? Uh, I don't know. I tried to teach that. Maybe you're gone. <laughs> it's a formula. The, the, the um, RMS values are related to their regular values. Right? Read that section in the book. It's not that exciting. It would be really boring a second time. As opposed to just a little bit boring. <laughs>